Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daisy, and before we get started, I just want to say a little disclaimer. I know I wrote Y2K daily makeup here, but what I meant to say was it was more of a 90s makeup look. So, yeah, let's get started. So here I'm just using the Laura Mercier Concealer in 0.5 Neutral. And obviously you guys don't need to spend so much money on concealer, but this is the only one that works for me because I do have really sensitive skin. And drugstore products tend to break me out, but I really do recommend the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Um, yeah, that's a really good alternative. And y'all, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for the 1.5k subscribers. Um, I don't know, I just feel like we're going really quickly and I'm really appreciative of that. And yeah. Anyways, I'm using the brow duo that I use in every single one of my videos, but I am going in with a lighter shade and just shaping my eyebrows and then going in with a darker one and creating a thin line in the center of my eyebrows. And that's going to give you like the thin eyebrow effect that used to trend a lot in the 90s. And I am aware of the fact that in the 90s, they used to go darker and more bolder, but once again, I wanted to keep this a lot more natural looking and more suitable for daily wear. So now I'm just going in with my Dior contour palette and just contouring my nose and once again you guys can just use any product that just works for you guys but this is what works for me. Then going in with the same shade and products, I am just applying that all over my crease and just blending that out. I feel like back then the whole look with soft, smoky was really popular so that is the look that i'm going to be going for and to achieve that look we're going to be going in with a lot of ashy tone colors so that is why i'm going in with my contouring shades rather than separate eyeshadow and that is also more easier as well and then just going in with a brown gel liner i am just drawing a line and then just smoking it out with a small bullet brush and this step can look really messy but it's perfectly fine that is kind of the look that we're trying to go for i feel like back then nothing was really too clean looking and that's the aesthetic that we're trying to achieve so go ham <laughs> all right now taking a lighter beige undertone eyeshadow or here i'm just using a highlighter i'm applying that in between my eyeliner and the dark crease color then taking a liquid eyeliner i drew a wing i drew it pretty small but made it quite thick and for this step, I'm going in with a dark brown contour shade to just line my lower waterline. And for this step, you can use a black gel liner, but for me, I just wanted to keep it natural. And you guys can always add or remove certain steps in the video to adjust to your own personal preferences, but yeah. And since we won't be using lashes, I went pretty heavy on the mascara. I applied it both to my top and bottom lashes and made it look kind of clumpy, low-key. <laughs> And guys, I'm redoing my whole room, so I hope you guys subscribe and stay tuned for that because I did use a lot of money for that and I hope you guys like it. So yeah, that video will come soon, but it's still under construction. Yeah. Going on with the messy, effortless makeup look, I just applied the blush with my fingertips. And since we didn't powder our face earlier, this should have been easier. I'm still falling behind, but I did use the Becca bronzer in Sunset Waves. And then use the MAC's lip liner in Plum to line my outer lip line and then the Smith's Rosebud lip balm to smudge it out. I hope you guys still enjoyed this video even though it was really short and it was nothing really special because I just got a new job and it was the final week of school so everything was really stressful but I will keep up with my content and I hope you guys enjoyed and yeah bye! <laughs>